Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster Brittany, guys. Another video, guys. In today's video, we're covering episode one of how to get more solo wins in the game. You guys, I know that a lot of you guys out there playing this game actually struggle in solo. Solo mode is actually the hardest game mode to do rather than duo or squad. So I'm going to bring a series to the channel where we cover solo wins and stuff like that. So you guys can actually watch this series throughout the uh, month and then find out exactly how to get more wins in solo matches. Guys, we're going to play this game throughout, see what we're going to do. I'm going to land in Wailing Woods just for a little tip wailing woods is not a good place to go just because one um the chest the the new objective with the chest and stuff like that makes it extremely hard to actually win your fights there uh, i'll show you guys real quick the only reason i'm going here is because i want to get this little chest thing accomplished which you have to collect seven chests or something like that in wailing woods which is annoying but we're going to try and knock out two birds with one stone we're going to try it in this video as well as trying to give you guys the best tips that i can do so it's going to be a live commentary gameplay it's going to be a longer video so if you guys want to sit back relax soak in all the information and learn a little bit from this gameplay so it looks like all right there's one two three four kids i think over here so we gotta we gotta look out for that all right i don't see i don't all right there's a chest right there but yeah there's like two or three kids going that way. oh my goodness there's like six kids here so there's all right, all right there's no let me check this back corner i didn't see anyone go in this back corner real quick so let me check it dang it i need a gun oh good 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 oh we had a shotgun i didn't even know all right so wailing woods this is going to be a hard little town to take over but I hear people. You can either sound whore and wait for them to come, or you can build up, get above the bushes, and see them and shoot them like this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm whiffing my shots, you guys. There we go. There's one headshot. Oh, someone took my kill. Where is he? Oh, he's above me. Ooh, with the reaction time. I think... I don't hear anyone else, so they either ran away with no guns, or that's... That's everybody, you guys. So basically, if you land at Wailing Woods, it's not a good suggestion. Um, that's not part of the tip video. I just wanted to knock out two birds with one stone. But if you're in this area or you do plan on landing here, just know that once you take it over, I mean, there's nothing much for you. You'll only have, like, shotguns. You'll have some pretty good loot, but you won't have the best loot in the world. It's pretty calm, and you can get a lot of resources. That's the only good thing about Wailing Woods. Besides that, I suggest not coming here, you guys. It's just, it's, it's pointless and a waste of time. There's other places in the map that are a lot better, but that's not what we're covering in today's video we're actually going to cover whatever happens man you guys are going to actually watch the series and learn different things throughout the series you're going to learn how to think as a player in solo compared to duos and squads because if you guys don't know there's some of you guys out there that you have like five or six squad wins two duo wins and zero solo wins it's because solo games are a lot harder i'm going to tell you now i have like 90 something solo wins and 200 plus squad wins which is insane because i don't play that much solo one because it's boring two because the play style is a lot more slow and three because i just enjoy playing with my friends a lot more it's more fun to play with the community or people rather than playing alone but all right looks like our inventory is looking good we got an ar double shotgun a sniper and a grenade launcher. I dropped the bandages just because um, I feel like if I get in a gunfight with somebody, it's either going to go one way or the other. If I die, then I die. If I kill them, they're probably going to have a med kit or bandages themselves. So I don't have to worry about carrying bandages yet. I just want to have my arsenal up all the way. I have as much health as I can get out of those bandages. So I'm good to go. I was okay to drop it. Looks like someone was just over here. They, they looted that chest. So they're still around this way. What you can do is you can track. It's like hunting in the woods or something like that. I saw that someone built those ramps. I see that someone opened up those those doors right there to the gates. So they probably pushed this way. And looking at the circle, knowing that the circle is over in this area, they probably wanted to go in the circle and hide out around the circle area. So we're just going to push this little city over here to the right where the crates are. Um, but I'm always checking my surroundings. Guys, one tip that you want to do is you constantly want to keep jumping. I know it sounds silly, but... It, it makes it a lot harder for snipers to hit you and also if people see you from behind if they try to shoot you with their AR They're gonna miss a lot of the shots because you're jumping. Oh, yeah, there's someone right there. Uh, I think he saw me With my health being this low. I don't really want to just peek my head up I want a third person peek him because my health is super low. Oh, I don't think he saw me. Oh My goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm choking. I'm just gonna go up the same ramp. He went up. Hopefully he doesn't hear me Okay, he heard me, but I luckily got the shot off before he got his off. I was I was one pump. If he one pumped me, I was dead. No matter if he hit me in the body or in the head, I was a goner. It's all right, though, man. Oh, sweet. All right, we got a shield pot here. A suggestion would be if you know you're clear and safe, don't take the shield pot unless you find minis. But since we have two shield pots right here, um, we're going to take these right now. But I just want to give you guys a little tip. If you have shield pots, 
use it no matter what if you have a shield pot and you're about to fight people just take it right away um don't sit there and hold it trying to save it you want to have as much health as you can possibly have for the next fight or the gun battle that you get in i'm gonna pick up my uh, grenade launcher again real quick and then we're gonna go up here i hear a chest up here all right yeah there's a chest right here it's always good to check chests, you guys um chest can have heals right there like that and like i said even though i have 75 health and 100 shield i have a lot of health i'm gonna still use this med kit just for the extra 25 health because Again, having full health in every single gunfight is always a plus, and you never know. Once you kill a kid, they can have a, a chug jug, they can have extra shields, they can have an extra med kit and stuff like that. So it's always important to use everything that you have when you can. So if you have 100, 100, that's when you can store your med kits and stuff like that in your shield. But for now, since I didn't have one, okay, so now we have a shield right here. Oh, uh, we'll pick up. Damn, this is this is a hard one. Because I do want that uh, grenade launcher. This grenade launcher will be really good for bases. Um, to destroy bases. So, actually, you know what? I need the double shotgun, though. We're going to have to rock the double shotgun. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now. The reason I'm keeping this inventory is because assault rifle, of course, you want to have an assault rifle. Double shotgun because the pump is just not good enough. If you just shoot a pump and then, like I said in my shotgun video yesterday, if you guys don't know, the, the pump's just not good enough on its own. You know, you got to have something to help out if, if you don't finish the kill. So, that's why I have the, the tactical shotgun. And then the sniper because in solo matches sniping is a huge part in the game oh there's someone over there see that don't wear that skin you guys i know that skin is the coolest skin in the game but if you really want to like go super try hard mode don't wear that skin because that's the most noticeable skin because of the whole tron like he glows so bright you guys i think he sees me we're gonna go ahead and try and get out of his line of sight by pushing this left side and then once we push this left side now we can climb up to him and, and then see what's going on but i think I'm looking through the little cracks in the wood. I don't see any movement. I don't see any bright glowing orange. So I don't think he is over here. Um, He might have ran away. Yeah, I, th I think he ran away. He's playing really scared. So you know what? Instead of looking for him, I know he probably went down in the cave. Instead of rushing him or chasing him down, trying to find him, I'm just going to get out of here, dude. There's no there's no reason to sit there and spend all your time trying to chase someone down uh, because, one, they could have seen you coming and they could be in a hiding spot and then wait for you to go out in the open or wait for you to turn a corner that they're hiding behind. And they can kill you like that. So instead of just risking that, just get out of there. Go find somewhere new. It does suck because he has high ground right now. So if he is up there, I'm screwed. But it's all right, man. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm still consistently jumping. I know that somebody's over there. So I'm going to keep in mind to look at my left side i know that somebody's back there so i cannot forget about him and just think that i'm safe i'm per perfectly safe from this left side i gotta always check to see if he actually peeks and comes to try and kill me i don't see him so you know what there's a let's head towards dusty the actually we can head towards this drop over here to the right um there's always going to be people going to the drop so if you want some action go to the drop if you need loot if you need better material go to the drop but expect people to be there do never expect to go to a drop alone and have nobody there i'm just getting on top of the hills so that way i can check over the hills you guys and see if any was coming from around again this tip video is going to have a lot of different tips the more you watch these videos these tips and tricks videos the more that things are going to stick in your head and you're going to actually end up starting to play like me you'll notice that you'll start doing the things that i did um and it helps you out a lot so as you see there's two people over here i'm still constantly jumping all right there's two people over here i don't know if he's i don't know why he's not peeking the other guy i think he might have seen me coming from behind so you know what I'm gonna worry about this kid first because he's closer. Yeah, he saw me. Oh shit. Shotgun fight. Oh my god. Alright. Shotgun fight. Whenever you get up close, never use your AR. Pull out your shotgun. Watch this snipe. Ready? What an idiot, man. If I saw him, I third person peeked him. He didn't see me because I was third person peeking him. So I saw the, the corner that he peeked out of. And then I knew he was going to peek out that same corner again. So I just sniped him. And again, like I said, having the sniper is very crucial in solos, you guys. Look at all this loot. We got a scar. We got a scar, baby. We got a, a green pump. Sweet, sweet. Uh, We have a campfire. A med kit. I have full heals. I'm going to keep the inventory I have just because, again, if I kill somebody or find somebody, I can kill them or I'll end up finding another med kit. Or I have a campfire, so I'll be good. I'm going to set up make sure everything's reloaded real quick and uh guys the circle's about to close in and as you can see we're at the edge of the circle so people are going to be coming from the circle they're going to be trying to get inside the the new circle so that way they don't die by the storm so i'm just going to build up a little higher uh and just wait just basically wait right here and see if i can see anyone again i'm i'm looking this way because i feel like that's high ground advantage so anyone high okay there's someone right there anyone high ground advantage they always can look down at you so i want to make sure that no one's up there but luckily i see someone i know he knows i'm in here because my my material is still building so i cannot just i'm not peeking my head you guys as you guys can see i'm third person peeking this so that way i can see if he peeks 
rather than me actually standing up and him seeing me. Third person peeking is huge in this game. It sucks that it's nighttime because I can barely see him. All right, he's peeking. So now I'm going to snipe him real quick. Let's go, baby. He's weak. All right, now that he's weak, I'm going to rush him. He's either healing or he's about to try and snipe me. So I'm going to rush him real quick. Okay, he's trying to snipe me. I'm going to just keep building. I don't want to take any damage. I don't want him to shoot me. Just keep constantly building. All right, now I'm going to rush him again. Oh, shit. He's getting a little frisky, too. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Guys, that was extremely close. Because, like I said, man, you freeze up. Whenever it comes to up close fights like that and things get, like, personal where they're in your face, you freeze up. Just like I did right there. I shot a sniper shot and when I was trying to build a floorboard. It's hard, man. Sometimes you'll freeze up and you'll freak out and you'll lose track of your... Oh, there's a fat base right there. I don't see him peeking. We're just going to build around. And then what I'll do is I'll try and snipe him real quick. So basically, this is going to be a ghost snipe. I'll show you guys real quick. You want to have brick. And then you can see through the brick. Line up your shot. Stand up. Take your shot. Okay, we hit him once. We tagged him. So he's pretty weak. He knows that we're over here. Um, but you just you just break the wall so you have the little blue. Nobody can shoot through this, and you can easily go snipe. Um, I have a go sniping tutorial on the channel, so if you guys want to go check that out, that's fine with me. I know he's weak. If someone gets on that mountain, I'm screwed. All right. He's, he's barely... Okay, someone's rushing him. Now's my chance. While this guy's rushing him, now's my chance to push up. One, because he's not going to look this way, so he's not going to see me. He's not going to be able to shoot me. Um, two... Okay, so I guess one of them died. We're going to rush him real quick. He's Now he's going to know that I'm over here. Uh, it's always good to rush somebody. If, if you ever want to know when's the perfect time to rush, it's whenever someone else is trying to fight him. We're going to build too wide just because uh, that way it's harder for them to shoot me down. Oh, I choked. I choked. It's okay if you mess up. Just, just correct yourself and build up to him. Okay, I think he thinks I'm coming up those... Yeah, see, it's all right. Sometimes if you if you make a mistake, sometimes it can actually work in your favor. Like right there, I, I accidentally... F oh, someone's over there, north. Oh, he's peeking, barely peeking. He has a sniper, so I don't want to challenge him Um, just because anyone that has a sniper, you, you got to trust that they'll hit their shot. So you can't really do anything but ghost snipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a ghost snipe. Actually, you know what? He's out of the circle, so what I can do is i don't see anyone else what i can do is i can see if yeah he's pushing up now so the circle is coming in he's out of the circle i'm at the edge of the circle so i know he has to push up um i'm just gonna wait for him to push up third person peeking once again as you guys can see all right he's coming here he comes i'm trying to snipe him real quick i missed i'm gonna switch my ar i'm gonna just kind of get a little close up to him tag him up a little bit try and get him weak oh i keep missing i don't want to be a, up up high like that because people can snipe me from all around got him once all right, he's weak, man. I gotta... Oh, crap. Man, dude, that was close. All right, so build around. Of course, after you get done with the gunfight, build around you. Make sure you're safe. As you guys can see, we got full shields. We got a med kit. And everything that I said, man, once you kill a kid, once you, especially when you get in the top 10 situation and you kill somebody, expect them to have materials and stuff like that for you. So it's okay to waste all your material or to use a lot of your material to win a gunfight um, just because uh, the, the kid that you kill will probably have some more material for you. So let me see. Reload my weapons. I got to reload my sniper. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to pick up this sniper. And let's get out here i don't see anyone yeah let's get out of here all right i gotta be careful because if someone's on top of dusty they can actually look down at me so i'm just gonna get on top of dusty just to make sure no one's up there and this actually gives me high ground event oh shit there's a base right here oh he's actually looking too let me build around me so i don't get sniped from anywhere guys always build corners around you i'm gonna go snipe him oh dang it just missed it i'm just gonna wait for him to peek once he peeks i'll stand up and then take the shot Okay, see what he did right there? He built... This guy's a smart player. Oh, I barely missed. This guy's a smart player. He built uh, a wall behind him, one to the side and one to the opposite side. So that way he can focus mainly on me. Oh my god, he's getting so lucky. That way he can focus on me and nobody can snipe him from like behind or anything like that. So he's a smart player. That's, that's a smart strategy to do. Um, when you're trying to focus on somebody, when you're trying to have a 1v1 snipe off like this. Uh, that's a smart thing that he did on his end. But ghost sniping, but ghost sniping beats that. Someone else is shooting at me. Oh, someone's right here. Tagged him up. He's weak. 
It's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to peek and try and finish that. Let someone else kill him again. Getting your solo wins. Getting your solo wins is okay if you don't have a lot of kills. As long as you you get the win, you know. I can easily be mad that someone else is gonna kill that kid and take my kill, but it's fine because I'm just here to get this W. I don't care about kills. I don't care about anything else but getting a W. Oh, one's down low. One's up top. I'm gonna snipe this guy up top real quick. Damn, I just missed. All right, th I gotta move into the circle. There's three seconds left. The circle's about to start coming to me. This dude's wait. He's waiting for me, man. I gotta go. Aw, oh, crap. I gotta push him. I don't see him moving around at all. Maybe he's not in there anymore. I'm gonna push him real quick. Oh, he is in here. Fuck. He almost got me. Oh, I'm so weak, man. I gotta take these now. I think he's trying to shoot down my base, which is not good, because if I fall from here, I'll take fall damage for sure. So I'm just gonna go down here. Fuck it. I'll heal up down here. I just don't want to get shot down and take fall damage from that. And actually, I'm gonna get in the circle so I can heal. I'm gonna build right here. Get in the circle and build right here. Or heal up right here, actually. <sighs> Guys, we're in a top four situation. This is where things get really scary. Um, you can either camp, like I said, or you can actually play aggressive and rough. Since we don't, I need my sniper. I'm gonna go back and get my sniper. I don't have much mats. As you guys can see, I only have 292. That's not enough mats to get me up there. So I'm gonna go check if this guy has any more mats as well as, um, get my sniper back that I might need. There we go. I don't think he had any mats. You know, we're just, we gotta get out of here. The circle is about to close soon. We're at the edge. We gotta get out of here. Um, this is a, man, this is a sticky situation because one, I don't have a lot of mats, so I can't rush this kid like that. And two, he's he's really high up there and he's waiting for me. So if I even run out of this little base right here, he's definitely going to be ready. He's, he's third person peeking it. That's why we can't see him. Let me try and see if I can get him to pop up. No, he's not going to pop up. He's, he's going to wait for me to rush. He knows that I'm at the edge of the circle, so I got to rush. Man, this sucks. I have no mats, man. Watch this. He's going to start shooting me. Ready? See, there it goes. Just going to constantly keep building. Try and snipe him. Damn, he got so lucky. All right, we're going to build up a little bit higher. Come back down. Heal up real quick. The only way you can win this is if you quickly snipe him, which is, it's it's hard. Yeah, I can't, I can't rush him. He's just waiting for me. I don't know why there's more people. There's two other kids. It's him. Me and someone else. Why is this other kid not helping me? Like, where is he? He's probably just hiding, honestly. Which is okay. I can respect it as long as he doesn't shoot at me. Let me and him fight. That's fine with me, man. Just gonna break everything in sight just so that way I can get mats and stuff like that, you guys. The more mats I have, the better this fight will be. Let me break this rock. Oh, crap. I think he's, uh... Oh, I thought he was trying to rush me. Alright. I'm gonna try and go up this way. Oh, shit. He sees me. All right, I can't push up that way. He's going up higher one more. So what I'm going to do is, man, this this is a hard situation because, like, he has high ground advantage. He probably has a lot more mats than me. As you guys can see, I barely have any mats. I need more mats. Oh, shit, he's trying to shoot me. He knows where I am. He has high ground advantage. I have no mats, no heals, really. Uh, the circle is not where I am, which is not good. So we're both going to actually have to leave. So you know what? I'm just going to push this way. Hide right here for a little bit. I don't know where the other kid is. I'm, I'm glad the other kid's hiding and he's not trying to kill me. I hope he's not in that bush. If he's in that bush, I'm screwed. All right. Looks like he might build a little a sky base. A little sky base in the next circle. So he has a lot of mats. You know what? I'm just going to try and get inside here. Ooh, ooh, make it. Let's get rid of this trap so I don't run into it on accident. Um, I don't need anything here. I just need material. I don't want to hear it. Let him hear me too much and get some more mats. All right, see, now we're at 400 mats, you guys. Things are looking good now. Things are looking real good. I got a lot of mats. The circle's coming. Let me get out of here. Um, I got to remember he's up there. So once I... All right, I'm in a circle. Build, build, build. This is when building gets really important, you guys. Oh, crap. All right, heal up real quick. I don't know where the last kid is. I have no clue. He's trying to back up, so now we're going to shoot him. Tag them up a little. There we go. It's a 1v1. 1v1. This guy against me. I think this kid's bad because he was camping. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. 
Oh my goodness, he has shield. I'm so weak, man. I'm one shot. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta heal up. I'm gonna use this campfire, and then I'm just gonna wait for him to peek again. I'm just gonna heal up, sit right here and heal up. Uh, let the campfire just give me heals while I wait for him to peek. The second I see him peek, then I can challenge, but I'm not gonna move this location just because, one, I need heals. I had like 20 health or something like that. So if, check if he's there. If, if, if he shot me once, I was dead. So let me at least try and get 75 health so it's like two or three shots in order for me to die. All right, let's, let's push up. Circle's right here. I'm going to have high ground advantage on him, so this is looking good. He might have more health than me, though. That's the only problem. I think he's in that bush. No, he's not. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's scared. Oh, he's going to shoot that down. Let me, let me put another one. Oh, crap. Building, building, building. Always build. Always get on high ground advantage. I have no more mats. Let's go, baby. Guys, that's how you get the W, guys. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. He had a gold scar, man. That's crazy. Much love to him. But guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys have been awesome. I hope this video helped. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. The more likes that we get, the more that I will actually bring you guys content like this. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.